thanks, Dean. Just uh, what did it feel to kind of get back out there? And just how do you feel that that pairing with uh, you and Miko played on a uh, Tuesday night? Yeah, it uh, felt good to get back into, into a game. Uh, I mean, I wish I could play all the games, but that's not how it is. Uh, yeah, it felt really good with uh, Miko the other night. Uh, I think we uh, think the game alike and we're kind of like basically like same same kind of player. So uh, it worked really well. And uh, I think it only can get better from from here. Yeah, I say it seems like you guys both have poise on the puck. You're both not afraid to go forward at times. Does that, does that chemistry almost feel kind of immediate between the two of you? I mean, I wouldn't say immediate. I mean, I, I've never seen him play before. It's, it's, uh, it's the first game I've seen him. Uh, he, it's first time for him to see me. So, um, yeah, you, you get to know him a little better on the ice. What are his, his uh, what he likes to do and, and what, what, like, when he likes to jump. So it's not like immediate chemistry, but we're, we're trying to build on that, on that uh, good first game we had. Yeah. And just as a team, obviously it was a, a better kind of defensive structure, a better game on Tuesday than it was over the weekend. What can you take out of Tuesday and maybe take into tonight as far as this team trying to find its identity and find its game? Yeah, I mean, we, we played one of the better teams in this league with, with Tampa Bay. And uh, I think we, we defended really well, like the whole team really focused on the small details, the checking part, good sticks. And yeah, I think it was a step in the right direction to, to find our identity that we had over the last few years. And yeah, we just got to grow on that. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Mark Shai. Go ahead, Mark. Thank you, Glenn. And Dean, yes, you just kind of building off what Jeff said, you know, it's obviously the team's going to be very happy after a win like that against Tampa Bay. Just can you speak to what that does for the confidence of the team overall, not only for you, but for the team, like the carryover to the practices, like that seems to be more upbeat after a win like that? Yeah, I mean, it's all, it's always more fun to win. Like the, the mood in the team is way better when we're winning instead of losing. It was two tough losses against Detroit. Uh, yeah, but it felt really good for the team to, to win against Tampa Bay, like one of the better teams. So I think the mood in the team went up after that and the confidence should, should as well. So, uh, yeah, we just kind of try, try to repeat it tonight. And you know the Lightning are going to push very hard. They've lost three games in a row now, and they're going to try to look to get back on that. So what do you guys have to do to prepare for the expected push they're going to bring? Yeah, we, we know that they're going to come. Like, they, they came last game, too. It's not going to be different tonight, but I think we just we just got to focus on our game, not not too much on their game. And, yeah, I mean, we, we need uh, we need wins. Like, there's not only them that going to come. We, we're going to come out flying, too, I think, because we, we need points uh, to stay in the playoff race. Okay. Next, we'll go to Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, Dean, uh, as you said, you know, you hadn't really seen uh, Miko before or, or known much about him. So from that perspective, uh, what jumped out at you about his game that you liked maybe immediately? I mean, he has a he's good vision. He, uh, he skates the puck well, like he made a couple of good plays in the D zone where he was skating with the puck. So so that was nice. And yeah, um, uh, I heard he's uh, really good in offensive zone as well, getting puck throughs. So, yeah, we're just, just going to build on that. Do you, like, when you're in that situation, you haven't played with a guy before. I mean, how much how much do you guys communicate or talk before the game and, and you know, just talk about, you know, the way you, your different playing styles or, or whatever you have to talk about? Yeah, we actually talked a lot before the uh, first game. Uh, also, like... He asked stuff about a system that was a little different in Toronto, but also what, what he likes to do, what I like to do. Uh, yeah, we, we actually talked a lot and we talked today as well about the game. And yeah, um, yeah, that's that's about it. Yeah, you know, in this season, we've talked about this before in general. I mean, with all the protocols and stuff, you, you guys have had a number of new guys, new faces in the in the locker room. Um, have you guys learned different ways to to get to know these guys better you know, within the protocols, uh, you know, faster? Uh, I mean, I, I, it's kind of hard this season because yeah, we can't really do much, especially when we're on the road. Like, uh, yeah, we just, we can take walks the rest of the time. We have to stay in the hotel. So it's not like a normal year. So yeah, but you, you get to know the guys, like you're with them almost every day. So you get to know them in practice and stuff like that. How important is that part of it, you know, uh, getting to know guys personally? 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's built a team spirit. It's good to, to get to know guys. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Thank you.